South Florida is a melting pot of various nationalities and cultures. Amongst these cultures, the Haitian culture is very dominant in many areas, which is why today we will be exhibiting a very popular Haitian dish known by Haitians as soup jumou, a squash-based soup. Meet our great friend Gilbert, a very talented Haitian cook. One of Gilbert's favorite dishes to cook is in fact soup jumou. This is why I asked them to cook it for us today. Also known to all Haitians as the soup of the New Year's Day. In Creole, soup 1er janvier. But before we jump to cooking just yet, I think it is important to understand why Haitians traditionally have this soup every New Year's Day. Let us ask famous historian, author, and professor Anthony George Pierre the history behind this famous Haitian celebratory tradition. That's uh, an opportunity to show that uh, they are free. Because uh, on January 1st, 1804, after the Salin in Gonaive proclaimed the independence of Haiti, Haiti is a sovereign nation now, he tells the people who who surround him, uh, get back home, and now you're free. And since you're free, you're able to drink uh, the soup jumou. Because uh, in the colonial time, uh, the, the colonialists uh, could uh, drink uh, the, the soup jumou. Now, the, uh, drink, uh, eating the soup jumou is an opportunity to show that uh, you're a free man, you're a free woman. That's what that, re that remains a tradition uh, even Haitian in the diaspora, uh, in diaspora on January 1st, uh, everybody is look for the soup jumou to eat, uh, so uh, as a manifestation of freedom, of uh, the sovereignty of Haiti. I also asked well-known Haitian TV personality Patrick Eliancy for his opinion on the subject as well. Uh, soup jumou is part of our history. Uh, in my neighborhood, my mother used to share soup jumou with uh, our neighbors. Haitian uh, share soup jumou with uh, unfortunate people. Uh, some of them go to uh, prison and hospital to uh, distribute uh, soup jumou. Uh, soup jumou uh, became a symbol of uh, freedom. Now that we know more about the history of soup jumou, let's get to the fun part, cooking it. Hi, um, my name is Gilbert. Some people call me Chef Gilbert. Um, uh, I don't consider myself as a, as a chef. I was not formally trained as a chef. My background is mostly marketing. I love cooking. This is a passion and it comes to me naturally. I, my mom was a professional chef, so I watch her around the kitchen doing different things. So um, I kind of mimic what she was doing uh, growing up and when I grew up and watching different folks doing different things, kind of like train myself. Uh, as a, anything else, if you don't practice, you don't get good at it. So I practice pretty much every day. So I come, come to find out this is something that I enjoy doing. So I do it every day. So every day I do it makes it, uh, makes myself a little bit better. And uh, here I am today. So if you haven't tried the Sujumu, try it you won't regret it. Okay, to prepare our soup jumu today, we're gonna need pumpkin squash. That would be the base of the soup. This is what we are going to start off. I'll really actually clean that uh, uh, piece of uh, pumpkin squash, remove the meat. Some folks actually cook it with the, uh, the skin. Um, all you gotta do is wash it. Some people remove the skin, right? I'd like to uh, cook it with the skin. It's a lot faster. So we got the cabbage. We got the, uh, also the, uh, the carrots, the potatoes that we chop, turnips that we also chop. We have some leek in there. And all of that is going to be um, uh, in the soup once we get the, uh, the pumpkin squash boiled. And we are going to puree that and put everything together to stop the soup. We pay attention to the skin because you don't want the skin to be 
going into the blender. And we add some of the juice in there. Now we're gonna add the veggies that we watched earlier. Starting with the uh, green cabbage, the tuna, the potatoes, the carrots, everything all together. And then we'll add some water to make sure that everything gets in. So we're gonna, we're gonna let it cook. I'll bring it to boil for about half an hour, 40 minutes, the time for all the veggies to get cooked. And then we are going to add the meat that we prepared. We're gonna go over how we uh, prepared the meat. And then we we'll also add the, the, uh, the potatoes. I like to add the potatoes uh, pretty much 20 minutes before the soup is ready. That way, like I said, the, uh, the potato will be nice and firm and not overcooked. And then last, it's gonna be the uh, the celery that we are going to dice and then put that bad boys into the to the soup let it cook and then we'll be ready to serve and eat now this is the time for us to add the meat to the soup our soup has been cooking for roughly about half an hour now. For me, when I'm making soup jumu, usually I'd like to uh, prepare my meat the day before. Um, this is the meat that we prepared last night. So I have roughly about uh, four pounds of, of meat, which is actually uh, beef stew, right? So I have my special spice, which is pretty much thyme um, and all the spice that I put together. And I'm actually seasoning the meat, right? We Haitian, we use a lot of spice. A little bit of salt, all right? This is the juice from sour oranges to add a little acid in the meat. A little bit of uh, cracked pepper. get some garlic in there, a dash of uh, Worcestershire sauce to bring the meaty flavor. And then we're gonna dump a Scott bonnet in there. So we're gonna get all that marinated, right, overnight. Cook it for about 20, uh, 20 minutes, and then this is the result that we get. We have a really juicy meat. We put very little water because we want to use all the spice, all the garlic, everything all together. We didn't add any oil. So the oil that you see is uh, from the meat, the fat, it's from the meat. And then we are going to use that base sauce that with all the spice to season the soup. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, actually uh, put the, the meat, add the meat and the sauce into the soup that, is, that has been cooking for the past uh, 20 minute, half hour or so. All right, our soup is almost ready. Uh, the bouquet that we prepared to, um, for the soup, we don't need it right now, so we're gonna remove that. You don't wanna have the scotch bonnet um, going all the way into that soup. It's going to be very spicy and people will not eat that. All right, so this is the time for us to add the meat. Um, we're gonna add the meat. And remember we said we're gonna also add the juice. This is the how we what we are going to use to really, if you will, season the, the soup. So let me add the um, the potato, which we chopped chop earlier. Okay, and we're gonna let that boil until it's nicely tender and firm. That's it. We're gonna let this cook for another 20 minutes 
and then we can serve the, the, the soup. Now our soup is, is almost ready. We are going to add to the soup the celery that we just diced. Okay, we're gonna add this bad boy into the soup. I'd like to put it at the end. I like the crunch of it sometimes. All right, so we're gonna add half of, uh, of a lemon. We're gonna squeeze the juice. Right? And that acidity will actually bring, bring out the, uh, the sweetness of the, the scratch. So it's, it's it, you know, um, lemon and, 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 and pumpkin scratch pair very well together. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for another five minutes or so. And then we gonna get ready to dig in. The soup will be ready. All right, our soup is ready. We have our friend here, Nikki. He's going to taste the soup with us. My friend, this is uh, the Independence Day soup. Okay. Bon appétit. Mm. Mm. Mais, mais bon soup? Il vient de bon tour. Oh, I mean, that's 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 what I like about you know having the the um, the meat cooked the day before mm. you get the soup. It's mm. really good. But ça c'est bon soup haïtien, mm. soup premier janvier, ok. Mon toujours réuni autour de soup là. C'est un événement culturel donc son manger, son manger qui permet que tout le monde réuni réuni souffle au bord d'une table et manger ensemble donc. Bon appétit. Mm. Mm.